So, welcome to my nerd cave, where I've got a bunch of retro computers going. This is part of my collection. This is um, just the ones I have the room to run. I have more that I um, have to get a bigger room someday and display them there. Uh, but let's start at the end here. So we've got a, a ZX Spectrum which was only made overseas. I've got special adapters and stuff to make it work with our video signals and power. Um, and that is running, loading things off of a, uh, <laughs> an iPod uh, that's uh, taking the place of the normal tape drive that you would use to load, load programs. Uh, moving down, I've got a 1200 XL from Atari. This one is decked out with all kinds of good stuff inside. It's got uh, a video mod on there, the UAV. It's got the ultimate one megabyte upgrade, which gives you all kinds of cool stuff. And uh, on the side here, you can see, I've got S Drive Max, which lets me load up um, any programs that I want off of an SD card instead of having to deal with floppies. Um, moving down the line, I've got Mega ST2 from Atari. Uh, I'm sorry, this is a Mega ST4. Um, and underneath I've got a Megafile 30, which is a 30 megabyte hard drive, which is still working to this day. And uh, I can load programs off of that. I can also use this thing called an Ultra Satan, which has got uh, an SD card that you can load programs off of. So that's Pretty cool. I've um, got an Apple II GS. Um, this one has a uh, another SD card solution inside for uh, emulating a hard drive um, based on SD cards that you put in there. Um, it's got a eight megabyte RAM upgrade. And uh, moving down, I've actually got a. Um, down there I've got a, a, a cube, um, guts for the cube that are working. I need to get the, that together with the casing that I've got somewhere else. I've got the obligatory Steve Jobs picture, um, some fun posters and toys everywhere. Um, uh, we've got a Mac SE, SE30. Very cool, and uh, it's got a 20SC external hard drive underneath it, but it actually has a 40 megabyte hard drive in it. Um, not that I will ever use that much space. And down we go to the very, very, very cool um, and classic cube from Apple. Um, one of the most beautiful pieces of equipment, computer equipment ever made, I think. Um, just gorgeous to look at. And uh, I've got the, uh, the jellyfish speakers for it. Um, Harman Kardon made those. Um, and uh, I think this is a 20 inch display on it. It might be a 21, I can't remember. <laughs> and um, I've got an Apple IIe Platinum Edition. I just got the extra numpad on the side. Um, uh, and a Sony Trinitron monitor. Very, very nice picture on that monitor. Probably doesn't show right on the camera, but um, uh, the venerable uh, Mac Color Classic. Um, this one has been upgraded. The internal hard drive has been swapped out for yet another SD card-based solution. Um, this has what does it have in it? Um, Twenty meg, something. Seems like an odd number, it might not be right. Um, and I have uh, internet hooked up to this, so I can actually 
surf the internet in a very um, limited way on that machine. Um, I have two others of these that um, I need to find homes for. Um, and there's the ca casing for the, uh, the other Mac cube that I have. Um, and then we get down to the end of the line and we've got a TRS-80 Model 4 from Radio Shack. And this has uh, an external amplifier so that you get all the game sounds hooked up to it. And it's got, um, you guessed it, a SD card based hard drive solution. I got Velcroed to the back there called Fred. Um, and that's not all. I also have a uh, Vectrex, which is not a vintage computer, but um, vintage tech for sure, and very cool. Matte Quicksilver. I've got the clear Apple CRT monitor, which is probably the coolest CRT monitor ever made, and that's all. Um, Commodore 64, some various Atari drives and a tape drive, Atari 600 XL, the original Atari 800, which is a beast, um, uh, an Apple II Plus with some drives, Timex Sinclair 1000, which is the same as the, as the uh, CX8081, I believe. Sorry. I can't remember which one, 80 or 81, uh, and the RAM module for it. Um, that was actually my first computer. Uh, and lastly, I've got an eMac. Um, and these are really cool. They were like the iMac, except they were made for schools and educational systems. Um, I just like the looks of these. Very, pretty amazing industrial design as with most Apple products. Um, and that is about it. Just a quick review, scanning over everything. Um, and like I said, I've got more stuff elsewhere. Just no room to display at all. Can't do it. But one day maybe I'll get a bigger room or another room. Alrighty. There you have it. Thanks for watching.